more spawn. Yes. If you haven't seen the headlines, I know it's been a minute. San Diego Comic-Con, Todd McFarlane did announce news that they're adding five new comic titles. So I want to run through a couple of those, some of the creators that are mentioned, uh, give you a little heads up, but right off the bat, I would be remiss in not trying to continue to praise what Image Comics has done with the Spawn verse and what Wakazashi's done as a recommend for me. I think Gunslinger Spawn is possibly one of the issue to issue most entertaining bang for the buck kind of fun comic books that you're going to find. It has all of the flavor and sentiments that you have from 1990s where Spawn's origins were. Um, I think it's been repackaged and repurposed in a way where it's a very interesting and fun character. So more of that is definitely going to be uh, something I will recommend. And the first thing that is, is yes, a, a second Gunslinger Spawn series and title is in the works. Jimmy Palmiotti is going over with Patrick Reynolds. It's going to be set in the American Civil War. So it's going to be more like a flashback type of sequence as far what I understand. Now, I didn't get to intricate details with some of these kinds of things. I really kind of wanted to wait um, instead of like, spinning my wheels trying to make it seem like we have more information than we do or add a lot of speculation here's what i can tell you is that it makes sense that fans would want more of what we're enjoying with gunslinger spawn so if that if it's just you know spinning his wheels in what civil war spawn would have been like i think is is fantastic so i think just a lot more of that is kind of what's coming so Next up will be uh, Sam and Twitch. Yeah, that's right. Um, Sam and Twitch has been a show that um, has been talked about as far as live action goes. I don't think that is sort of worked out yet. Now we have a writer's strike that will probably hinder that um, for a while. So what we're going to do is instead we will at least get a nice dose of Sam and Twitch um, coming to you as well. And Sam and Twitch is going to actually be written by McFarlane himself, which I thought was very surprising. I did not expect that. Now, I'm not sure I understand how to pronounce this, so I apologize. Um, Seisman Kudransky, Kudransky. So it's going to be more like a very cinematic feel. So that's why I made allusion to the fact that there has been like TV show conversations on and off again for a while, because that is the case. But we don't have any move really on that as a series um, quite yet. Um, the next one is called uh, Misery. So Misery um, is confirmed as well. Now Misery is um, a character based on uh, uh, named Cyan, who is the daughter of Spawn. Okay, so Cyan, a Cyan, uh, is a same same creative team, right? McFarlane and Kredansky. It's going to be the daughter of Wanda and Terry. Oh, they've kind of changed that, I think, because I thought that was. Um, uh, Al's daughter, but I guess it's not. The, the notes here is it's Terry, but they're all grown up with powers. She can affect people's emotions and pain with just a touch, make them feel other people's pains. She also feels it at the same time. So let me uh, switch the image because there was a different image that was shared at the con. And I thought this was pretty cool. So let me pop that in for you guys so you guys can see that as well. Gives you a little bit of the flavor with something that's a little more um, heady. I thought this was pretty cool. So as you can see, just, um, you know, the shards of glass and the stuff. This is this definitely did not feel like a McFarlane project. That's how I felt. I felt like this was something that did not seem like something he would be working on. Um, and just as much of a surprise as I am with uh, Sam and Twitch. Now, he may bring in some other writers and some other stuff will come along the way. I don't, I don't know for sure. Uh, but at least for now, that's what we know. Okay. So that brings us to kind of a completely different feel. And again, this is this is the fun of doing comic books because you can get something that uh, is for everybody. Like you, you don't have to stay in your lane. So this is called uh, Spawn Kills Every Spawn. So John Lehman, and again, I apologize for Rob. Duenes, 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 baby on baby violence, fun as hell is pretty much how this was being described. So don't totally get uh, what we're doing, but I can tell you that we're having a good time doing it pretty much is what I hear. So um, yeah, there we go. 
And then the last one is kind of dark. Um, I'm a little, I was, I, I'm actually like, the last one is pretty heady. And this is kind of one where I think it's going to be a love hate, but it's called uh, No Home Here. So it's based on the victims of Billy Kincaid. So Billy Kincaid, as you know, dates back to the original Spawn run. He's kind of a key element to some of the early new uh, chapters with King Spawn and even Gunslinger a little bit. So you have a little bit of sort of overlap in these stories. And now we're going to deal with these victims. So that, that is the other series. So five new Spawn titles are coming. The Spawn verse continues to grow, get more interesting and dynamic. There was no real talk of any of them coming to an end or anything like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if um, he tries to hand off some work to some other folks and do some of that. Um, but yeah, no, there's been some good stuff. Uh, there's actually some videos over on YouTube, a place like that where you see Todd talking with folks. He's talking about the toys, some of the different things that inspire him that he's still enjoying working on. And obviously he's putting some uh, pen to paper to give us some great storytelling and comic books. So that's the Spawn update that came out of San Diego Comic-Con. Sorry it took so long to get it to you, but there you go. You're all caught up. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon.